hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to cut five different degrees of flare the 90 degree the 180 degree the 360 degree the 720 degree and the 1440 degree flare so without wasting much time let's get started so now as i've said earlier i'll be teaching you how to cut a 90 degree a 180 degree a 360 degree 720 degree and 1440 degree flare so without wasting much time let's just get started in this video so now i'll be drawing a simple basic peplum blouse just a simple basic peplum blouse to make some explanation so now let's say the length this is the blouse length from that shoulder area down to the flare and then is the blouse length then the half length is from that area down to the joining before the peplum so that is the half length and the peplum length is from that area down to the end of the blouse so that is the peplum length so now let's just assume the peplum and the blouse length is 20 the half length is 15 this measurement they are just imaginary measurement and the peplum length is 5 so now this is the measurement to be using to calculate all the flares we'll be using so now the blouse length is 20 the half length is 15 then the peplum length after deducting the half length from the blouse length definitely will have 5 inches so now 5 inches is the is the pe peplum length we'll be working width so our waist is 19 that is 18 plus one inch swim allowance that's 19 so note that you can use this method for gown yeah you can use this for gown so just know that the peplum length will just increase and the blouse and the blouse length will be interchanged for gown length so now let's start with the 90 degree but before we continue let's draw a full cycle just to explain something real quick so now this full cycle is a 360 degree so now if you divide this full cycle into so that's 180 180 then if you now divide the 180 into so that's 90 90. so we just want to draft a pair a flare that is just one quarter of this cycle so how do we go about that there's this simple measurement i do use there's a simple measurement i do use that is so let's say this is our ankara fabric you know now the hand this is let's just say this is the tip of one uh, of our Ankara fabric. Let's say just one yard. So you just fold it in this manner. So you fold it like that, in that manner. Yeah, just fold it like that to cut your 90 degree. I hope you understand the way I folded it. You just fold it in this way, just the tip, like the sharp tip just fold it like that but before we continue there's this simple measurement i do use so our radius r equals to waist over 6.3 so now from this our calculation our waist is 19 so 19 over 6.3 that's 3.0 something 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 so let's just approximate to 3.0 so to 3.0 so you know that the 90 degree we are drawing the 90 degree flare we want to draft is just one four of this so to get the r for this 90 degree you multiply the 3.0 times 4 so 3 times 4 that's 12 so that will be the radius of the 90 degree flare we are cutting so now let's take our tape rule to measure 12 inches 12 inches all around just 12 inches down there So you just measure 12 inches then after the 12 inches so from the line we've, we just drew so we mark 5 inches which is our peplum length we just mark 5 inches like that then we connect the line yes we mark it like that then we connect the line so now i want to measure this the place where we mark 12 inches i want to measure the line to be sure if i'm on the right track so you see i have nine and a half and nine and a half times 2019 so that this is how you know that you are on the right track so before we continue i will take out one inches i'll go up by one inches at this upper part this one will serve as my seam allowance in case i want to join it 
with anything so that also was my seam allowance and i will add half inch at the at the lower part there this one to serve as my seam allowance if i want to turn it in or if i want to fold it or whatever i want to do with it then i will cut from the new line i've just drew so i just cut those new line so this is what we have in case you want to fold and you don't know how you will fold like the length you will fold just mark just measure 12 your radius 12 inches your blouse length 5 inches then 0 0.5 that is everything will be 17.5 so let's measure it you will see that everything all together will be 17.5 so if you want to fold you will know that that's how you fold that is your your radius plus your peplum length plus 0.5 that's how you know you're folding so this is our 90 degree and the radius is 12 inches the radius of our quarter cycle is 12 inches so now we've done the 90 degree let's move ahead to the 180 degree as you know that 180 degree is just the half of 360 that is half of 360 that is two two of 180 we give us 360 So now our R for the 360 is 3. So R times 2, that will be 6 inches. For 180 degree, you multiply it by 2. The R you got, you multiply it by 2. So now to fold this, let's say this is our Ankara fabric. So along that line over there, you just fold it into 2. You fold it into 2. Just like that then after folding like that you mark your radius you mark your peplum length you mark your radius and also your peplum length but before i go ahead i still want to fold it a little more so that i can work with a small part of this cycle so just see like i folded it like this first then after that i'm folding it again it's still the same thing still the same thing so just to work with a smaller part of it that's why i'm folding like this so now i'll measure my radius which is six inches i'll measure it all wrong like that and i'll connect the points together then i'll measure my peplum length which is five inches as you know that all these measurement measurements they are just imaginary like from the blouse we just drew drawn so these are just the measurements we got so then I will add 0 0.5 at the upper part. You know now the 0 0.5 is the same allowance for the joining. So now I will just cut it out like that. So before I cut it out, let's confirm what we have here. So let me measure it for you to see. So from this measurement, we have four and three quarter, and four and three quarter times four, we have as. 19 inches yes we have 19 inches so i'll just cut it out like this then i will label this is my 180 degree as you can see it's, it's an half cycle so this is my 180 degree 180 degree and the radius is six inches So now for the 360 degree you know from the measurement already is the 360 degree we use so definitely the r is three inches we are not multiplying we are not dividing in this one so to know the folding that is the r plus the peplum length plus 0 0.5 that is our folding that is for the folding the three inches which is your radius plus your peplum length plus is 0 0.5 that will be your folding that is everything all together is 8.5 so if i'll be folding now i'll be measuring 8.5 so 8.5 like this so i'll fold in this way first then i'll fold the other way around i hope you understand what i'm trying to do so i'll fold 8.5 8.5 just the normal way we fold for our flare that's 8.5 so now i will measure my three inches the radius which is the three inches round then i'll measure my peplum length here so five inches then i'll connect the line then i'll add my 0 0.5 as you can see the 8.5 is perfect for this because we've calculated the folding 
so in this way you can save your fabric so it won't waste your fabric you know some people when they want to cut flare they waste a lot of fabric but with this calculation it will help you to know the exact amount but you can just add one inches or 0 0.5 so in case any walls come to us in case walls come to us so you know you are still on the right track so we go up by 0 0.5 as you know that is our same allowance then now let's measure this line over here so it's four and quarter and you know that it is folded into four so four and quarter times four that is 19 inches so now you know this is a full cycle we have to open up so you just open up one of the sides like that you open it up and this is our 360 degree flare these things they are very easy to draft if you know the calculation because flare can really waste your fabrics but if you know the calculation you have to use you will save a lot of fabric and it will make your work very easy so now we are drafting the 720 degree flare and you know 720 equals to 360 times 2 that is 360 plus 360 that's 720 and you know our radius our radius for the 360 so our radius is 3 and you know we are drafting two three sisters so that means they are divided by two so three divided by two it is 1.5 1.5 that is we'll be drafting a 360 degree flare with 1.5 and another one with 1.5 so at the end of the day when we combine the two you know we have three so for the folding let's do the calculation as you know that the radius plus the peplum length plus 0 0.5 so that's seven inches so now we'll be folding seven by seven inches so now i just folded this small paper because my paper wasn't enough again and i wanted to show how it is done so the length of this is not seven by seven i think it's like six or something so i'm just trying to explain the radius so i'm marking the radius which is 1.5 here then i'll go up by half inch as you know that this measurement this waist measurement is very small that's why you can see all these things they are very very small so if you are using your actual measurements it won't be like this so this is what i have as you as i have said earlier i drafted just two full cycle flat that is seven by seven from the calculation we we did so now this is what we have and we'll just so if it was an actual fabric we'll just sew at this edge and this is how it will look i hope you are enjoying this tutorial if you are enjoying it just give us a thumbs up drop a lovely comment and you can ask me any question in the comment section so this is our 720 degree flare this is the second one so now this is it so it is two full cycle that's what gives us 720 degree so now for the 1440 degree flare that is that's 360 plus 360 plus 360 plus 360 that is 360 in four places i'll give us 1440 so as you know that the initial half is three that is that's for 360 so 360 3 divided by 4 that's 0 0.75 that is 3 quarter 0 0.75 is 3 quarter i'm just writing it bolder so for the folding that will be our radius 0 0.75 0 0.75 plus our pepton length 5 plus 0 0.5 the same allowance so everything all together will be 6.25 it should be 6.25 i'll correct that later so that's 6.25 that is six quarter that's what 6.25 means that's six six and quarter so that's it so that will be our folding that is we'll be cutting four cycles that will be folded 6.25 6.25 so this is my folding no but i do, it's not up to 6.25 as you can see it's just very small cycle my paper was not enough again but the I hope you just understand what i'm trying to do so now i'm marking my 0 0.75 here then i'll go up by half inch as you know this is a very small waist so that's why this thing is looking very tiny so if you are doing your waist it's still the same measurement it's still the same method rather if you are if you are following this it's still the same method so it's you 
it's the same thing as you can see this is my four cycles there are four because is 1440 that is 360 times 4 so I'll just open up one side one of the side so is from those side we'll be joining the cycles together so this is the summary of everything we've got so that's 90 so this is 180 so this is 360 the radius is 3 the radius is 3 so this is our full cycle as you can see it's a full cycle full cycle so this is our 720 degree so i've went ahead to fix them together so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like so in the pictures i showed earlier for it to make it very stand to make it stand you can add peplum stay or you can just add green line if you want me to do a tutorial on that just let me know in the comment section so that i can do it do that for you in the video i'll be creating next so this is the 1440 as you can see it is very spiral like even without adding crinoline or anything to it, it will be obvious that it's not a single flare. It will be very obvious. So sometimes, if I don't want my peplum to stand down much, I just add a soft interfacing, not the add one. I just have to add a soft one. But if I want it to stand and it should look very spiral, I had peplum the crinoline or bone, depending on the style. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting, for sharing, for liking. And I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.